So I'm out for a brief hike here at uh, Chernobyl, and uh, I wanted to do a review of the Roby uh, 2000 PSI uh, um, power washer because I finally got into it uh, heavily yes well yesterday and a couple days ago and uh, when I'm out hiking I'm going to talk about some things about the power washer and then we're going to when I get back to my house uh, I'm going to show you everything that I've learned about the power washer things I like things I don't like but I did want to just uh, start here well, we've got a lot of motorcycles here in Florida so check this out so I just bought I bought this right here Okay, I got two cans of this. This is um, Stay Build pump protector. Now, once I'm done with the power washer, I'm going to be uh, pumping that into the power washer to preserve it. And then I just bought these at Home Depot. And I'll start talking about the uh, the power washer once we get into a little bit away from the road and uh, into a prettier setting. Oh, for the people in Central Florida, I forgot to show you this. <laughs> this is why I love Chernobyl. Not a person here but me. All right, and then this is uh, the beginning of the trail. So uh, let's just get going. So now that I'm back in here a ways without all the motorcycle and car noise, uh, let's talk about the power washer and what I've learned and uh, and where I'm heading with it. And, uh, and then we'll get some um, some videos of the parts with the power washer and me using it. Um, so you can kind of see. Uh, first thing I wanted to, to get into was the expense. Um, now I'm crippled and uh, so I knew that I had to um, basically rig things up as, as easy as possible because screwing in uh, the power washer and unscrewing it and all that stuff, especially when you're tired, because I get tired real quick. The Quick Connect Kit, uh, we talked about that in a previous video. That is mandatory. Uh, it just saves you so much time. Uh, now it took, it took me a while to figure out all the connections and, and then of course I used pipe tape uh, to wrap around it, make sure there's no leaks or anything. And then uh, as a bonus, uh, I had an old um, kit that I bought for the, uh, the, I'll show you the nozzles that I bought for just, you know, if you're just going to wash your car without the, uh, the foam cannon or anything. Uh, and uh, no screw into that. And so those are now quick connect. Uh, so I can connect up the power washer, or connect up my uh, hose handle, uh, quick connect, and we'll get into all of that when I, when I get home. But I was getting into the expense. I think I paid, uh, well, it was, uh, I got the 2000 PSI. Now that was a kind of a mistake. Uh, if I were you, I'd spend the extra money and get uh, and get a uh, you know the, the 2,200 or the 3,000 I think they got now. And uh, because I'm very I'm somewhat disappointed with the the pressure coming out of it, and that's why I bought those new nozzles. I'm going to see how that goes. Uh, although I have to admit the pulsating nozzle, there's a little there's another tip that I can swap in there. I think that would give it. Uh, more umph, but uh, it's actually perfect for cleaning screens. I don't know if you've ever had a gas-powered power washer, but uh, you know if you don't adjust those right, you can slice right through the screen. And uh, this uh, this attachment it, it cleans my screens on my uh, bird cage just perfectly, and I'll show you that when I get home. Uh, so I'm, I'm enjoying that pulsating uh, uh, nozzle that comes with the uh, power washer, and then it comes with two other nozzles. Uh, and uh, those, uh, I didn't find them very useful. One's for soap and the other one, I don't know, it's uh, supposed to be a little bit more intense. Uh, now, one of the things that uh, was bad about it was, I don't know if you, you've ever had a gas-powered power washer, but I used to just use the power washer to clean my sidewalks in the driveway because, you know, once you get all that black uh, or uh, just, you know, over time, it turns kind of a brown color you know and uh, you could just take the power washer and just blast that right out and it would take a long time but with this power washer uh, it wouldn't work on my driveway um, I bought uh, at the advice of Home Depot I tell you don't listen to anybody at Home Depot uh, I bought the uh, outdoor Clorox uh, thought maybe that might help me uh, clean the driveway just by scrubbing it with a brush and then going over it with the power washer nope didn't help at all didn't didn't work at all none uh, and then I also had this uh, super clean, I think that's what it's called, and uh, we'll get into that. Now that's hopefully going to come in handy for cleaning my roof. Got some black stuff on the roof and the HOA is after me, and that's where the foam cannon is going to come in. I have yet to use the foam cannon, but that's uh, that's what the point, point of that is, is I'm going to spray that super clean on the roof and then use the uh, the hose nozzle uh, just, to, just to hopefully wash that black stuff off, because you certainly can't power wash your roof. So anyway, so that was the first thing, and now... Total expense when you look at the extra nozzles, 
the quick connect kit of course i guess to throw the clorox and the super clean in there even though the clorox was useless so far i mean it might work for some uh, mildew and algae i've got on the back of the house we'll see how that goes but i don't want to use it because it's not good for the plants um so that super clean i don't think it has any uh, problem with the plants so that's what i'll be using that for and then they also um well, we'll get into it. There's some other things you can buy for cleaning mold and mildew that work really well. One guy said just use Dawn and a little bit of Clorox, and I guess that would work if you didn't have plants. Uh, Dawn dishwashing soap and, and Clorox. You know, don't don't go heavy on the Clorox. Just put a little bit in there, and that that's probably what some of these things that you buy off the shelf and pay extra money for actually have. So you got the three nozzles that came with it, the, the pulsating nozzle. Now it worked, uh, like I said, worked on the screens. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? The quick connect kit and of course the connections for the uh, the hose handles. Ah, man, I tell you. Oh, and of course you got to buy the uh, the 50 foot flex hose. Uh, we went over that in a previous video. Uh, the, the hose that comes with the power washer. I don't know why they do this. Maybe they just want you to spend the extra money. It's garbage. Uh, you know, it just kinks up on you and you know and of course they even put in the directions. If the hose kinks, you don't know, be sure and cut the power washer off. Uh, uh, learning a little bit about electric power washers because uh, I always had gas first thing was that you know You used to be able to just turn that nozzle and adjust the uh, spray coming out of the handle uh, And like I said, you could cut wood with that thing uh, and, uh, and and that way you could you could get it, you know into a wide Stream or a narrow well, I guess with these electric power washers. You just got to use different nozzles Which is actually pretty good because I remember with the gas gas powered uh, power washer Eventually, you just couldn't hardly turn that damn thing to adjust the spray, especially with, with my hands being crippled. I can hardly even, I can't even open a pop bottle, you know, so being able to twist that handle. So replacing the uh, nozzles is actually a good thing in a, in a way for me. Uh, it is an added expense. That's $20 just for those three nozzles, and we'll see how they work. That, that's one thing that I noticed the difference between electric and gas. The, uh, the other thing was uh, with the gas-powered uh, power washer, you know, you could always adjust at the uh, at at the unit. You know how much uh, how much how how fast you want it running to to give you more pressure coming out of the power washer. Well, these electric ones, unless I'm wrong, it's just one one setting. I guess you just use different nozzles, and uh, and it just has one speed. You know, 2,000 psi. That's it. You know, you can't. You, there's no way to like adjust it so that you get less or get more kind of a drawback uh, between that and, and the gas nozzle I guess uh, I didn't I didn't really think about that I went and bought it so that's uh, that was a difference between gas and electric I guess that's about it uh, I can't wait to show you these quick connects and how everything fits together and then when I get to use the foam cannon I don't know if I, well I'll show you that on film uh, oh yeah the other thing that you're gonna want is a uh, you know long handled uh, brush which I have a feeling for cleaning my gutters and stuff uh, so that I can just stand on the ground and get up to the gutters because I got bushes in front of the gutter gutters and uh, so now you know you're saying well good god man it's a, <laughs> it's a hell of a lot of work well think about it man I paid uh, I'm out four hundred dollars probably total you know if you add everything up and uh, if you paid somebody I mean I was in that bird cage yesterday uh, whew, I'd say four hours man and I'm not even done yet. I mean, if you were paying somebody to do that $60 an hour, yeah, that's $240 right there. And that's assuming that they just charge you 60 bucks an hour. Um, I don't know. So, you know, I've already saved uh, at least, well, and then the other thing, oh, the last thing was uh, there's a, I don't know if you see, it looks like a, a, a little robot, you know, the, the thing that you put on the driveway and it spins and uh, that's mandatory. That thing worked great for cleaning the driveway. And it works great in the birdcage for cleaning the floor. So if you're going to buy an electric power washer, that's an attachment you're going to have to get. If you're going to clean a driveway or clean the floor, I mean, and that's what you do most of the time. You know, of course, you're cleaning the side of the house. And by the way, what was enough pressure with that pulsating uh, uh, wand to get uh, the dirt off of the paint and off of the windows? Uh, it blasted that off just fine. So anyway, let's uh, we'll continue the video when I get home. And uh, we'll start uh, using it, and I'll show you uh, the different nozzles, the different attachments, the quick connects, uh, the uh, the hose handle, and uh, and hopefully, um, you know, you got to make your own decision. Are you going to pay four hundred dollars and spend a lot of time, you know, putting all the quick connects on, getting everything working, reading the manual, 
and then uh, and then saving four hundred dollars every time you uh, go out and power wash, or you're just going to pay somebody to do it every three. Well, in my house, it'd be every three months. I'd be paying four hundred dollars every three months. So once I power wash my house, well, once I've paid for everything. It's up to you. Peace. Uh, here, oh, check him out, man. I wanted to love getting the nature on the videos. Check the turtle out. This is why I kind of go off uh, off the path. Let's get down real close. I don't want to scare him too much. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, little guy. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of off trail here at Chernobyl, and uh, I'm looking at these. I'm wondering if these big ones are bear tracks. It's hard to tell. Oh, these would be horse hoofs. I'm sorry. This, 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 so the horses did. I don't know why they would come back in here, but uh, whatever makes them happy. I did see deer track back there, so there's plenty of deer in here if you're a hunter. But anyway, that's just a little clip. So end of the trail for me today. We look at that son of a gun. Woo! Oh boy, there he goes. Oh man. Oh man, I got arachnophobia just looking at him. Oh, look at the size of that web. Hopefully I'm getting him on the video. Alright, well that's it. You can see I'm done hiking for the day. I just wanted a quick hike. Talk about the power washer. Time to hit on back. I, I'm not going not gonna go under that spider. He looked mean. I'm gonna get it on the video here. Look how fast that little sucker's moving, man. You see, turtles are slow, huh? He's just moving along. That is so cool. Let's see if we can get another angle on him. Yep, oh, that's about it. There he goes. So I apologize. I wish I could have shown you the before and the after. But all I can show you is the after here, and uh, this is what the driveway looks like after using that um, circular attachment on here. And you see, what I've got here is this huge tree right in front of my house. Now, it's a blessing and a curse, because you can see that it's blocking the sun right here. So it really gives me, especially in the hot summertime, the shade. But man, oh man, it just drops leaves and acorns and... And of course it turns this driveway into a, a black mess. And then of course I had to bring that downspout right there. If you ever do this and it dumps onto the driveway and of course the shingles, I guess some of that uh, tar or whatever comes off the shingles and, it, and that was what they dinged me for with the HOA because it was a big black spot right here. But anyway, let's get around to the back. I did want to show you something else here. So what I was talking about, see I've got these bushes so what I'm going to have is I got a long handle and we're going to use the foam cannon to hit that gutter right there. Now the HOA is not making me do it. I'm just, I figure I got the power washer and uh, well, we'll see. Maybe they've just hitting it with the foam cannon and the super clean might just take that off and then I won't even have to scrub it. But I doubt that. I have a feeling you're going to have to brush it just a little bit. Now am I going to get every speck off? No, but hopefully you can see the dirt that's on there. Now let's get around to the uh, the bird cage here, real quick. Uh, so uh, I wish you could have seen the before and after. After eight months of just dirt and pouring down rain and everything else, this was a gosh dang. Well, you can kind of see it right here. All right, because I haven't done this. You see what we got right here? That's what the whole bird cage looked like. So if you get behind and behind there, let's uh, let's get around over here. Because I couldn't get back in here real good. I see how bad that is. There's another dead bug. And well, right here. There you go. Whole thing just looked just like that. And you can kind of see the dirt, like right there. Now look, and also uh, in the screen up here, all of this, uh, I don't even know what that is. Mold or something is adhered to the, to the screen there. And I tried blasting it off from down here, but it didn't work. So let's, uh, well, actually, let's just, let's get into the video. i got to get my, my mic. Uh, well, here, this is the, uh, this is what I told you is mandatory. You've got to get this 12-inch uh, uh, Roby uh, pressure washer attachment. Let me just show that to you. And that spins around. And I tell you, this thing, it did, well, look at the floor here. I mean, it looks fantastic. If you could have seen before and after. It, like I said, it took me four hours because what had happened was I had my garden right here and I guess with all that pouring down rain or even the hurricane all that mud had just splattered up in here and uh, this whole thing was it, I mean it looked just like that it looked like the dirt so maybe you know I'm, I might have to take that dirt down a little bit or whatever and hey check out my Ramon main lettuce it's doing pretty good I was told I can harvest that I'm gonna watch a video tonight and see how it, how I'm doing 
Um, this is the foam cannon that I was telling you about. See, this is going to be mandatory. Uh, we're going to be putting in this um, super clean to spray onto the roof with the uh, foam cannon and see if that black stuff, see what, what happens here is in the back of the house, okay, I've got these oak trees and they kind of hang out over top of the house. And what that does is uh, you can, well, we can't really see it, but uh, the, the whole uh, gutter up here is, or the roof is just black, whatever that black stuff is on there. You can kind of see it on the gutter right here. I'm gonna get up there and uh, with that foam cannon and we'll, we'll spray it on there. And then if you can see the screen, I wasn't able to get the top of the screen. See all the, uh, the algae on the screen here? Uh, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a demonstration with the power washer of, of actually blasting that out. And then I've got some other, here it is. You can really see it right here. See it, see the green in the screen? Okay, and that power wash, well the attachment, that's, the pulsating uh, attachment did great. I mean, cause I've kind of cleaned, I got started cleaning this and look how clean the screen is. It did a good job. I just couldn't get up top. I did wanna, let's talk about this ladder for two seconds. Uh, I used to have a ladder, a rickety old ladder that I, had, you know, because I used that to get up and wash the cars and also to get to the shelves in my closet. I'm going to tell you right now, I fell off the old ladder and I bought this and uh, I never knew I'd be so handicapped. But this is a great handicap ladder and uh, it'll be wonderful for cleaning this bird cage. And I wanted to show you, see, this is the quick connect on the bottom of the handle now for a handicapped person like myself my hands don't work real well so I've got this this pull handle so now I can use that and I can just snap it in and we'll, I'll show you that and then of course even the uh, this has the quick connect on here and then right here uh, that's a quick connect right there and then this here is a quick connect and I'm going to kind of demonstrate using those these are two nozzles that came with the power washer this is called the soap nozzle. I'll show you what that looks like when we put it on. And then this is just another nozzle that came with it. It might have had a little bit better dispersion. Now, and, and I wanted to show you this. This is something I'll be using on the screens and around. This is called 30 Second Outdoor Cleaner. Algae, mildew, and mold. So I tell you that stuff, where it really works great. Uh, I don't know about this super clean yet. So let's, uh, let's get into the video. So now the video may may jump around a bit because I'm going to be editing out uh, my struggles because my hands don't work real well. But uh, this was that outdoor. This is the HD outdoor bleach. I kept calling it Clorox, but, but bleach. And uh, it, you can do up to 40. But I tell you, this was useless. And I couldn't use it here because I would have killed my garden. I did want to show you that. So let's just show you some of the quick connections here. So if I was going to use the foam cannon, right because I got this screwed into here. Now this is that uh, hose I was telling you about. This is a 50 foot hose. Now in hindsight, I probably should have gotten a hundred. There's a hundred foot, I think, length or 75 foot length because think about it. I'm not going to carry the power washer up onto the roof. And so it would have been nice to have a longer hose when I get up on the roof. But anyway, it's, well, I guess I can just keep moving the power, but that means I'm going up and down the ladder, which is not good for a handicapped person. This one, I'm sorry, that, that's for a different connection so this just pops right on boom and you got that on there uh, this here is the nozzle that just pops right off this is the pulsating nozzle see it used to be you could twist these and uh, you could get different different spray patterns we're going to be showing you the not the other nozzles here and uh, of course the uh, the super clean so let's just get into all the different nozzles um, well, I did want to show you this real quick. Uh, so this is the power washer. Now, what's cool? Well, I'm sorry. It's not on that. It's on the hose. <laughs> Hold on. Daggone it. Well, I'm going to have to do some serious editing. Hose is on a quick connect. So you just connect the hose right to there. And then I can use the handle to, to spray whatever. But you can see how fast these connections... Man, my hands don't work. Even a handicapped person can use these quick connects. Let's connect this back up to the power washer. There we go. Boy, that was easy. God dang. Thank God for quick connects. So that's what I was saying. Uh, so now I can use this. But let's uh, let's put each nozzle on and see what it looks like. Um, I'll put the. 
We're going to use the pulsating nozzle first with me on the ladder and I'm just going to spray the, uh, the screen here real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, let's get going. So let me, let me show you the, uh, the connections. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the foam cannon uh, to spray onto the gutters and spray onto the roof with the uh, super clean. And uh, you got to buy this handle separately. This didn't come with the power washer. And this just connects right onto the, uh, the foam cannon. Ah, man, my hands don't work. So there you go. And then the nice thing here is this does have the adjustable spray. Now I'm going to have to see how that works. But I have a feeling that you can widen it out and narrow it down depending on the, the distance that you want to spray it. And I think I've seen that on a video. So I'm looking forward. And then this quick connect. So let's just do it real quick. So this is how fast you could just change out of everything. So you just pop this off of the handle. Whoops, I told you my hands don't work. And you would pop this right into here. So really for doing the roof, it would be nice to have two people because uh, you really have to cut the water off and on to be able to switch out these handles and the cannon and the wand and everything if you're gonna be using it all. I'm hoping uh, that with, I don't know, I'll have to see how it all, all works out. Cause you know, I don't wanna be using the foam cannon to wet the roof. So I'm going to have to wet the roof first, which would get me back to just using the, uh, the handle, but then that just connects up to the hose. So I don't know. I got to figure out how I'm going to make it all work by myself, but uh, let's get the handle connected and show you a couple of the nozzles and how they, how the different spray patterns work. Like I said, before I cut the water on, you got to get the handle connected. My hands. All right, there we go. All right, the other thing is when you do cut the water on, you do want to run a little water through the, uh, the handle to make sure that there's no air pockets in the hose because uh, um, you don't want the power washer running into those air pockets. We'll do that and then, uh, and then we'll cut on. I'll show you how, when I cut on the power washer, it's just one speed. Uh, let's do a little power wash and show you what that looks like. So I'm not going to uh, climb the ladder for you <laughs> and try to make the video, but I, let's hope... Uh, I got the phone just right. So let's, uh, let me show you what the pulsating, oh, we, we gotta cut it on, hold on. There we go. All right. Do it. Man, I got a lot of editing to do with this, <laughs> this video. <laughs> no, you're not crazy. It's the next day. Uh, live and learn, huh? I uh, was um, running the power washer, but I was charging my car. I have a Toyota Prius Prime. And uh, evidently, that was too much. Dry. I didn't even know that this outlet in my birdcage is connected to the garage, which seems incredibly stupid to me. But, uh, you know, I these electricians, I mean, I used to have a house up in Michigan that... I mean, it, there was there was one snake run that went all over the house because it was a three-story house kind of. So yeah, we're here the next day, and uh, we're gonna. And by the way, I had the, I had the wrong tips, <laughs> and thank God I didn't continue making video. Um, so I had to go back, and today I went to Home Depot and I got some new tips. But let's just check out the foam cannon first. I uh, show you the setup. So what we got is we got this handle that we had to buy. And then in here, I just got some soapy water. I, I don't even remember. I think this is uh, actual um, uh, car wash stuff. And so if, if you were going to wash a car, or, or what I'm going to be doing is spraying this onto the roof. Ah, it's super clean. So I'm, I'm going to have the, uh, the super clean down in here. Now, have I done it yet? No, because it's too damn hot here in Florida. <laughs> it's October and it's 90 degrees up there. I'm not getting up on the roof in 90 degrees when I'm a crippled. Hell, I've almost killed myself up there. But let's check out the foam cannon. What do you think? Ready? <laughs> so 
So I think that's going to be uh, really good soaking down the roof. Let's get into, I'm going to put the wand on next and I want to show you what's called the soap tip. Uh, I'm wondering, there's another little tip that came with the power washer and uh, I think it's just for the, uh, the oscillating and, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's good enough for that video. So let's pop the phone cannon off. Ah, there we go. And of course, so as I move along, <laughs> one thing that's bad for me is uh, you can't pop this handle off uh, when it's under pressure. So you have to cut the water off, which if I'm up on the roof, my plan was to have the, uh, the wand with this and swap back and forth but obviously that's not going to work so two-man operation would be best but unfortunately it's just me so I, that means at least one trip down the um, down the ladder to to change things out which is not easy so we got to relieve the pressure here okay that should be good enough there we go so that we can change it out to the other uh, attachment See how these quick connects are so important? I mean, imagine, imagine if I had to like screw this thing in every single time or screw into that. I mean, it'd just be ridiculous. Got to get the quick connect kit, people. All right, so I got to go, go cut the water on. Let's get to the next clip. Whew. All right, so this is the uh, soap tip. I've swatched out the handle, had to take the pressure off, cut the water off. Let's see what it looks like. So that's, uh, I guess that's basically it. If you were washing a car or whatever, that wouldn't be bad. Or you gotta fill your bucket, I suppose. I don't know, it's kind of a useless uh, tip to me. But uh, let's just start swapping the tips. See what we got. So that's the soap tip. This is, I don't know, I called it the orange tip. It came with the uh, power washer. Let's see what this one looks like. To me, that's not much different than the pulsating tip. I don't know. You tell me. So we got the uh, soap tip. Pulsating tip. Uh, let's see. This is the. Here, let me get this on the video. This is what I bought. This is called the Power Care Four Piece Quick Connect Nozzle Set for the Roby. So uh, we're using this is the 40, 40 degree. Let's see what it looks like. Pop it in. Man, even for a cripple, it's pretty damn easy with these quick connects, huh? Let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty cool. Woohoo! Not, not real good for cleaning the screen, but if you just uh, wanted to get a surface wet, I'm not sure. That's not a bad tip. Let's get to the next one. We're going to go with the green tip, which is the 25 degree. Let's see what that looks like. By the way, I'm seeing this for the first time with you. I just bought these today. Let's see what we got with the 25. Okay, that. Wow, that's that's working good on the screens. I might just use that instead of the pulsating tip. I like it. Plus, I like the fan. See how it's coming out in a, in a fan? That'll make cleaning these screens. Yeah, that's, uh, this is what I'll use uh, for cleaning the screens uh, with the algae on. That's good. Uh, that's better than the pulsating tip. <clears throat> Let's go with the next one. This The yellow tip is the 15 uh, degree. Let's see what that looks like. All right. So this, uh, I'm going to back off <laughs> a little bit from the screen because I don't want to slice my screen. Let's see what happens. 
Oh, you can see you can see how the the flow is much more uh, concentrated here. Yeah. Well, that uh, that probably be good for for blasting uh, some stuff off of the, the concrete or the sidewalk uh, that stubborn dirt that's down in there. Um, I, although I'm not sure it's much better than the pulsating tip. So now we're going with the cat daddy, the zero, the red, the red, red alert, red alert, red alert. <clears throat> Now this one, <laughs> I'm really backing off this time. Let's see. I'm just going to go right at the camera. Here we go. Woo. Right. Now this, this looks like the setting that I used to use in Michigan when I would blast my, uh, my sidewalk side. Because I would have that, that dark black just on the brick and everything. But look at this. Look at this. See how concentrated that is? That's the, that's the zero. I'm not getting too close to the screen with this one. Woo! But you know what? You know what? This is going to be good for blasting that stuff off the screen. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm not even going to need the ladder. <laughs> this is, is going to work. Hey, 20, well, there's about $27 for these, uh, these new tips. Um, man, I tell you what, that's going to be worth it because uh, my trusty ladder here. Well, I got to have the ladder to clean the screen, of course. I can't. <laughs> what am I going to do? Stand 20 feet back and blast the. Uh, it would take me forever with this tip. But so the ladder will be good for cleaning the screens, but this is going to be great for blasting. Let, let me try this one more time. I wish I could get this on the video, but I'm, I'm going to tell you this stuff, I couldn't get it off with the, the pulsating tip or any other tip. Let's see, because it's, it's kind of baked into the screen it's i don't even know what you would call it it's not anyway let's see what happens it worked it worked yes indeed 27 dollars well spent i uh, of course you know and this will be good for cleaning the gutters too uh because uh, i'll hit it of course with the foam cannon and then uh i'm hoping that with this um super clean uh that it'll it'll break that stuff off of the gutters and hopefully i won't have to take a doggone brush and brush them i mean i probably will if you really want to get your gutters clean i think that you're probably gonna have to brush them but i don't know i mean with this this sucker woo, woo, i mean that might be enough to really blast that stuff off the gutters and i won't have to pull out that brush because that's going to be a lot of work all the way around the house 2000 PSI 1.2 GPM uh, power washer uh, review and uh, everything you're going to need you know I yeah okay you know 27 more dollars for the tips uh, uh, geez and then of course you know you got to buy the the handle right here you know uh, uh, for the for the uh, and then of course you got to get I mean, I, I'm sorry. If you're gonna have a power washer, you gotta have a foam cannon. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what's the point, right? I mean, it, well, it's gonna be great for. I mean, you should see when they when they spray the foam on the cars. This is gonna be great for washing the car, uh, and doing the gutters and everything, and, and also the roof. I mean, I'm hoping that when I spray that super clean on there, uh, maybe I'll make a follow up brief, uh, you know, synopsis like a five minute video just to talk about what happens with the roof once it's not 90 degrees up there. But in the meantime, I got to get to uh, working on the birdcage, people. So uh, peace out, stay free. Uh, I mean, boy, I tell you, um, you know, I, I, as I introduced the video, I mean, I'm out. Well, probably four, four, four fifty now at this point, four hundred fifty dollars. And uh, but I'm gonna save. I mean, well, I probably just with this project alone, I've already saved the four hundred and fifty in labor of somebody coming in and doing all this. It was a lot of work, but see, I'm hoping with my video that I've saved you a bunch of time about all the things you're going to want, the Quick Connect Kit, uh, everything else. Um, by the way, the uh, there's an extra, one of the things that, that's really cool is you've got a Quick Connect for the hose, and I didn't talk about this, and they've got one for each end of the hose, so if you were like a power washing uh, 
a business, okay, you're going to want to connect your hose and disconnect the hose, and, and that way uh, you don't have to worry about it. What I like is I got two hoses. So I, obviously I'm not going to be unscrewing the hose. I don't care, right? Um, using that, that quick connect on, on both sides. They're making these videos. <laughs> this is my second round on doing this because I didn't have the mic on. Uh, so I, I don't know. I got to go back. We'll, I'll watch them all and edit them and uh, do what I can. Um, so anyway, I, was, I know I was into the tips. And uh, let's just show you each tip one by one. This is what's called the soap tip, and uh, check this out. You know, I'm handicapped. I get no feeling in my hands, but I am able to pop these tips in, which is great. So let's take a look at it. So that's basically for filling up the bucket or doing whatever. Uh, for me, it'll be uh, just to water down the roof uh, before I uh, apply the uh, super clean right here. Um, so uh, that's uh, and that'll be with the foam cannon. And uh, you definitely got to have a foam cannon. I mean, that, there's no way around having a Roby power washer and not having a foam cannon. But let's start getting into the tips. Because I, I did discover some things in the, in, in the previous video, <laughs> which I'll be deleting because I'm sure it's not going to work. So let me get, let get, get this on the video first. So these are the tips that I bought today. I bought the wrong tips before. I didn't realize there's two different Robies. I guess there's like a, a less powerful one. How can you go less than 2,000? I'm, I'm recommending you get the 2,200 or the 3,000. I would never buy the 2,000 ever again, but I mean, I'm into it now. I, I bought it because it's $199, but of course the date on it was 2020, so the thing's already two years old. But these are the tips, okay? So let's get into it. So you just saw the soap tip. That came with the power washer. Um... So we're going to get in, this is, uh, I call it the orange tip, I don't know, but this is, going, this is the tip I'm going to use to clean the screens, okay, and uh, check it out, boy, you know, I know i got to get a Bluetooth mic, I'm, I'm thinking about it, Let's see this, see that's, uh, that's a pretty good tip, because I like the fact that it's a fan, Okay, whereas the pulsating was more of a, a just a rounded uh, pattern for the for the water. So that's uh, that's and this tip came the orange tip came with with the thing. So let's uh, let's just take them down one at a time. This is the 40, uh, 40 well, I guess they call it a 40 degree tip. Uh, let's get it going towards the, the camera. Woo! So this would be this would be great for just kind of rinsing a car off or whatever. You know, you're not going to. You're not going to blast the algae out of the uh, screen with it. Eww! So that, it'd be good to have. I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess for rinsing the car off, it what, after you've soaped it up really well, that'd be pretty good. Uh, let's go with the 25 degree. That's 25 degree tip. Look at this. I mean, see how these quick connects work? I mean, I'm crippled, man. My hands, I can't even feel these two fingers. I drop stuff all the time. That's why, you know, I have to buy all plastic wear. I can't even use glasses or stuff like that. But let's check this one out. Whew. So it's a bit more focused. That would be excellent for cleaning the screen. Uh, not, not real good on the, the heavy stuff, which is right here. Uh, you can't really see it. But uh, it's, it's the, the, the stuff that's really on there, yeah, it's, it's just too big a fan for that, but it's probably good for getting the algae out of the screens without tearing them up. So now we're going to go to the uh, 15 degree. Let's see what this looks like. Boy, I tell you, I love how quick I can change these tips. So this is the 15 degree. You see it's a bit thinner. I wouldn't want to get too close to the screens with this one. Let's try it out. Still not enough to really knock the heavy stuff off of the uh, the frame of the bird cage here. Let's get let's get it from the distance. Woo not bad, not bad. Now we're getting to the cat daddy, the one that uh, I'm going to love because I thought I thought I was going to be on this ladder 
Uh, well, I've got to be on the ladder to do the screens, obviously, and, and this would not be the tip that I would <laughs> be using for the screens. But let's see if this tip is going to be enough to clean the, uh, the frame without, well, I'm going to try not to damage the screen while I'm doing it, because um, I've already done this in a previous video, and also the, the stuff that's baked onto the screen up here, uh, nothing was working to get it off. Uh, that pulsating tip didn't work, none of the fan tips worked. Uh, but check this one out, the cat daddy. Woo! I feel I, I feel like in the movie Batman <laughs> when Doc when the freeze the freeze was out there, right? And he's he's uh, doing his thing to, to anyway. The, but check it out from from the side. Now what's cool is this this stuff that's on my screen. I was gonna. I thought I'd have to use the ladder because I had to get the power washer rod up close to the top of the bird cage. Let's just check it out. Negatory. <laughs> it blasts it right off the screen. So there you go. So that's it for my review of the Roby power washer. Uh, all sixteen thousand minutes that I recorded to do this video, I'm going to be editing for the next century. Uh, I got my first strike on YouTube, <laughs> so I got to be careful of my videos from this point forward. Uh, and that's okay, you know, I don't make no money off of any of this stuff. Uh, I'm not monetized in any way, shape, or fashion, but I do enjoy making the videos, so um, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, you know, going back, I mean, you got to think about it. I mean, the stuff you're going to want to buy, I mean, you know, you've got... I got the handle for a handicap or an old person or whatever, you know, or even a woman, you know, you want to get one of these, these, these nozzles and you can buy this, this connect kit. I wish I, I could set you a link to it, but I bought it so long ago. I, hell, I didn't even know I had these <laughs> until I went into my, my supply cabinet and I was like, oh man, that's what this was for. I, it, back then, you know, I didn't, I didn't even know. So I got that. And then of course you're going to want to buy the, uh, the handle, uh, for, for the spray, for the uh, foam cannon, you got to have the foam cannon. I mean, come on. If you're going to wash cars or do what I got to do is get up on the roof and spray the uh, super clean, uh, you know, right here. Uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, maybe I'll make a future video and tell you if it got the black stuff off. Because all I'm going to do is just soak it down with that uh, soap tip. Um, which, you know, and that's, that's one thing I was trying to avoid is I can't, I can't swap the foam cannon for the... Um, the uh, the rod here without cutting the water off so it'd be best if I had another person but I don't so I'm gonna be going up and down that ladder a couple of times I'm sure um, and then of course you know I think you definitely want to buy the, t the tip kit you know I mean you got two that that come with the power washer and then you got the other four um, the red tip being well for me the red tip is <laughs> <laughs> is the cat daddy because now I can clean the top of the bird cage without having to uh, and also it probably will work on the gutters too I bet um, once I hit the gutters with that foam cannon uh, and some super clean maybe I won't have to brush them um, that would be outstanding wouldn't it of course what a waste I've got that long pole but can you imagine my back is killing me just from doing the what little I've done so anyway I gotta actually use the uh, power washer now <laughs> to do some work and uh, I hope you're kind of seeing the floor the bird cage is looking good um, and uh, it you know it's I wouldn't get the 2000 I get the 220 200 I'm gonna say that again I get the three or the 3000 um, it's just not powerful enough for for my purposes although with the tips I, I'm gonna make do with it so it's it's okay it's all gonna work out all right, peace out, stay free, and it's good, 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 good to live in the free, the free, the free state of Florida. And uh, let's hope there's an election. I, I think DeSantis is going to win in a landslide, and uh, we want to keep him as governor. All right, stay free. All right, getting back to the power washing video here. Let's kind of look at things before the fact which I wish I had been able to do with the driveway for you but you can kind of see uh, how bad <laughs> this looks boy when you leave a house and break your neck for seven months uh, I guess a lot of stuff now uh, just to kind of clue you in I mean look up there holy moly this is gonna take some work up oh, let me get the 
get the video just right here. Uh, so what we're going to do, well, actually, uh, let's give you the progression here because everything in life is a progression, right? Let's let's go back here. I just want to get uh, get this on the on the video. I actually grilled a burger yesterday. Now you got to remember, I got back in July. <laughs> it took me till yesterday to get that grill operational. Uh, it, it had roaches in it, and uh, I had to I had to uh, power wash it. Of course, this this is called the bird cage. I had to clean that out. Of course, you know I put it in the garden uh, when I got, that was the first thing I did when I got back. Now I got to clean that rain barrel right there out. That's my emergency water supply. But right now you can see it's full of stuff from the gutters. Because the first thing you're going to do when you're going to power wash a house. Uh, and this is where uh, when you pay somebody you don't get this and this is why it can cost so much is i had to go up on that roof for about two weeks i'd say and blast them gutters out from the top because if you don't clean from the top and only clean from the bottom you're just going to be out here cleaning from the bottom again soon because everything from the top is going to wash down to the bottom right so life is a progression so anyway uh let's just talk about the uh equipment set up here so i got to go all the way around the house and this is this is going to take some time all right we've got the um we got the foam cannon right here now this uh those gutters i it would be nice if i could just blast them uh with the foam cannon and then just power wash it with the with the rod uh, i can tell you right now that ain't going to work you're going to have to brush them gutters off to get the dirt off uh, once you put the um, and by the way what's in that foam cannon is the super clean a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid and just a touch of the uh, bleach the outdoor bleach I'm hoping that's going to be a good combination and then I've still got the ladder up because then what I'll do is go up now if you look at the roof you can see it's nice and clean see, I've been up there cleaning that for God knows I, I'd say three weeks uh, I've been up there working on it it was, it was, uh, and that, that's where that 45 degree tip that I bought. Now, this is the pulsating tip that I've got on here right now because I'm working from down below. All right. And, uh, and then I, I already had this rod. See how nice and long that is? That's going to reach up over top of the bushes around on the side. Now, I don't really need it that long to do this right here, but it is nice because you don't stand there and just let water drip all over you, which is, okay i mean it's a warm day here uh, but anyway and then of course i got the hose right there now you know that when you get started uh you make sure that because that that hose hadn't been used in eight months maybe a year okay so i had to make sure that you know run the hose to make sure there's no debris in the hose because you don't want it clogging up your filters on the power washer that's the 2000 psi 1.2 gpm roby power washer that's kind of the purpose of this review but it's also about power washing so you can see we got all the tools i'm going to get started uh let, let's get the now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh hit hit the gutter with the pulsating uh, wand get them nice and wet uh hopefully blast some of the loose stuff off that can come off easily uh and then we're going to take the uh the foam cannon and then i'm going to run that along the gutter just a certain ways then I'm going to scrub it with the brush, and then I'm going to blast it again. And this is where them quick connects come in, right? I mean, imagine if I had to keep popping this or screwing this stuff on. You know, I'm, I'm going to be using the wand, the foam cannon, the wand, the foam cannon, the wand. I mean, so, you know, if I didn't have the quick connects, uh, it would be a nightmare, you know. And, and, you know, of course, we got the quick connect on the on the Roby power washer. So, uh, yeah, it takes a lot of work. And, of course, I bought that ladder some time ago. You're going to want one of these. That's that's nice to have, man. I mean, if I have to get up there, I will. That was mainly about, I didn't want to carry all this stuff up the ladder. So I just used this ladder to just kind of set it on the roof. And then I climbed the ladder because I've got a broken neck, man. <laughs> you know, I've got to be super careful. And uh, you don't want to be carrying stuff up and down the ladder. Going up this, I bet if I fell off of that into the rock, I, I don't think I'd hurt myself. All right, so let's get a shot of the pulsating cannon.
So I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of loose dirt that is coming off just with the, uh, the pulsating tip here. So you can see it's going to take quite some time before I can even uh, use the foam cleaner and the brush because I'm going to, of course, I want to get as much off with the, uh, with the pulsating tip as I can before I have to do the hard work because uh, it doesn't take anything to just sit here and spray. So we'll get uh, the next clip will be uh, me uh, using the uh, foam cannon. You know, one other thing I wanted to add to the video, because like I said, life is a progression, right? We had to hit the gutters from the top, the roof from the top, and now we're, we're finally getting down below. But also uh, years ago, I had to go around and replace all of these outdoor electrical outlets. Uh, so I wouldn't even be able to run this power washer with the original setup uh, that this house had. So yeah, this was a lot of work. Uh, you can see it's all caulked in around it, and uh, I, you know, put it in an outdoor. It didn't even have an outdoor outlet. <laughs> you know, here in Florida, they got away with a lot of stuff before uh, uh, the laws got a little bit more restrictive. So uh, that, by the way, little story on that uh, that out outlet right there. I had a guy come in and replace the uh, a plumber. And uh, he didn't caulk around that. Now, you can see I didn't do a very good job caulking around it, but that's because I had bees in the wall because the son of a gun didn't caulk around it. And, uh, you know, I just thought that'd be part of the job, right? Or all he had to do was tell me, you know, I, I replaced your, uh, your faucet, but uh, I didn't caulk around it. You know, anyway, depend on people. Check out the lizard right there. Isn't that great? I'll tell you what, they are fast. And see, this is another outlet that I replaced. So you see the progression, right? Outlets had to replace all the outlets had to uh, buy the hose put in the hose reel uh, You know had to buy the power washer. I mean, but you know what in the long run This is going to save a ton a shit ton of money uh, Because I can do all this work myself even as a cripple uh, it, And you know and granted it took weeks well probably months worth of work uh, But if I'd had to pay somebody to do all of this It'd be, hey, hey, check it out. There's another lizard right there. Boy, I tell you, we got the lizards here in Florida. Check them out. Man, I tell you what, I'm so glad to have them. I, I've, I've, like I said, I've been down behind bushes working on stuff, and uh, they'll come right on your leg and eat the bug right off your leg. Uh, and you don't even know the bug's there until the lizard scares the shit out of you. <laughs> and it eats that bug right off your leg. All right, let's keep working. So I apologize for having my shirt off, but uh, this is wet work out here. Uh, anyway, I uh, cleaned up. Boy, it, so that's another $60 that I saved, assuming that the power, power washer only charges $60 an hour because it took me a good hour to just do this whole, this side of the house. I haven't even gotten to the hard part, and now we're going to spray on the foam cannon. Let's get that on the video. Hopefully I just got my back and uh, we'll just continue with that and then we'll let that brush it a little bit and we'll be done with this section of the house. So I just wanted to get the brushing on the video. I'm done brushing but I wanted to show you. So now it's time I'm going to take the, uh, the the zero tip and stand back a ways and just blast whatever's left on there. And I will finish this and that'll be it for the video because you don't need to watch me do the rest of the house. Just kind of showing you. If you were paying somebody to do all of this, you'd be paying a hefty sum of money. I'm going to tell you that right now. I, I'm out $500 for this whole setup. It was worth it, man. It was worth every penny. So here's a quick shot with the zero tip. Woohoo! Man, I love this tip. You gotta buy the tips, man. Another 30 bucks, but it's worth it. All right. I'm not even gonna get in this clip. I just wanted to show you. Here, let's 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 just let's just get a little more. Woohoo! All right. Saving, saving money, saving money, saving money. So, since I haven't done this, let's get a little quick shot of the before. Because I'm going in to take a break. 
and then let's get the after. What do you think? I think it looks pretty darn good for an amateur power washer like me. Daggone it. I got it, and that's another thing. I got to trim this tree back right here. That that limb was in my way, but I was just, you know, I was moving along. But look at that gutter. Almost looks brand new, doesn't it? Man, I mean, I've been at this for at least, I, good God, I can't imagine how much I would have paid somebody to do all of this. Holy moly, you couldn't pay me enough money to do this. If it wasn't my house, I wouldn't be doing it. I tell you that right now, unless I'm starving to death. <laughs> you know, and that's a possibility in this day and age. But look at it, man, all right.